Hey everybody watchers here and welcome back to Skitty Kings 2. Now last episode, what did I do? I decided that Rafini was going to come back under my control and, well no, it's never been under my control really. Uh, I'm gonna, basically, I'm going to put it under my control. I've declared a war for one of my kinsmen's claims and I am occupying their land. As one does when one is pressing claims for kinsmen who only have a tenuous claim at best. But this guy's really good, he's 56 though, so... I'm hoping that his sons will manage all right when he dies, and hopefully that I can win this war before he dies, because otherwise it's a whole waste of time. Um, Hungary, I'm still involved in the war with Hungary. Right. Only vaguely, because I'm not really actually doing anything. Saray has converted to Massalian, which is, oh, like, Massalian's taking root, and I do like it. This is great. Big fan of all of this, and Orthodox has been supplanted by Paulician, Shit's going down. I don't know how I feel about it. And you tosser, you did it. You died. I knew it. I knew you would. So let's just watch Simon back because that's about to end. There we go. Second Massalian War. Prince Capriol's claim of Rafinha has ended inconclusively. Great. Big fan of that. I had to say it. I had to say it. So whatever. I'm going to improve. I'm not going to do anything with her at the moment. Um, I need to have this kid educated. My daughter who's a genius. You can be, I'm going to make you into a really good steward. Who's my current heir? The Count of Semenda. Yes, because I intend to press his claim for Hungary. Which I can't do because I'm currently in this war as an ally. I don't want to be in this war as an ally. I want to leave the war and get involved in the ruckus that's going on for the claims on, oh my, all the claims. Yeah, there's two claimant wars. Uh, Bavaria is claiming it, and Greater Moravia is invading. So Hungary is a bit of a mess right now, and I look forward to taking advantage of that. But anyway, what was I saying last episode? I was gonna, I was debating whether to attack the Shaban because they are currently defending against a Shia uprising, which they're losing. Uh, defending against the Liberation Revolt, which they're losing. A, Sh a Hindu Revolt, which they're losing. And finally, a Decadence Revolt that they're actually winning, which is a bit annoying. But either way, um, where is this guy's army? He is in Cyrenaica. My geography is not the best. Emirate of Cyrenaica. There. So where is the Caliph? Uh, Asiut. I'm guessing it's nearby. No. Not at all. Where is he again? Asi. Oh, my mouse is a bit weird. Yes. Asiut. Shaktum of Asiut. There. So quite a bit, quite a distance away, to be honest. So I may be able to maybe attack the Shaban. But also there is the Shayan, the Persians. They're involved in their own wars, uh, which is great to see. Um, and they are defending this, that as... No, they're helping the Salmonids. But they're defending and they're... They're just helping the Salmonids. That's all they're doing. But I have 13,000 guys. I have lots of money. I am going to go for this. Fortune favours the bold. I am going to reclaim Azerbaijan. Or Armenia. Which is better. Can't decide. So there's four counties there. Uh, Azerbaijan is also four counties, isn't it? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, I am Armenian. And it would mean that I don't then get immediately Holy War by the Shane. And if I'm not on the border, maybe they won't get involved in the war. So I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for Armenia. Holy War for Armenia. Raise up all my forces. Call in all my allies if they will help me. Hungary will, even though they are currently in a real tight spot right now, and I need my army, it's not my councillors. Thank you. And we group down here. And if they're not joining the war, my granddaughter's become a theological mastermind. Uh, I'm going to marry you off matrilineally to. Hmm. This guy. The heir to the kingdom of Hungary. Fine, even though he is technically my grandson, apparently. 
he's not joining. Neither is Germany. All disappointments. Yeah, so he's my grandson. Oh. Sorry, why are you inheriting Hungary then? Oh, yes, that's why. I'm not going to be able to kill him. But he is old, so he may just die. So that's interesting. I may reclaim Hungary for the for the empire. For the kingdom, rather. Um, we're actually fighting a war. In which case, do I really need this guy to be my, my heir? Is there not someone better? Someone with really good diplomacy, perhaps. Who's also attractive, apparently. Uh, yes, she was my original choice, wasn't she? What about someone with really good stewardship? Not the Duke of Alania, that's not going to happen. But what about this guy? He's a genius. He's got half decent stats. Unfortunately, he's a, he a flamboyant schemer, which is not the best. But still, he's part of the royal family. Um, I'm going to go with this guy for now, just because he is a genius. I've got lots of geniuses, to be fair, so that's not really a, a big deal. But still... And if it turns out that uh, the King of Hungary loses his wars, which, to be honest, it looks like he's about to, will you piss off with your attacks and invasions of my land? Right, so. This guy's currently got... F he still loves me. Even though I've declared a holy war for him, he still likes me. Has anyone got involved in it yet? No. So what I'll do is group everyone, have them actually go start occupying land. Hopefully get a good job of it done first before I end up... That's my profit. Give me money. Before I start struggling. Alright, everyone is still on the way. I'm going to move my spy master. He is going to build a spy network there, I think. It's the best bet. It gives me a good idea of what's coming my way. And everyone is... is Ah, we, we crushed an arm, a raiding army on the way, apparently. Oh. Someone's having a bad day. Sorry about that. Can't really stop the sirens. Got the window open. It's very warm. Which is quite nice. But, uh, yeah, so someone's not having a good day. Alright. Uh, so. Oh my god, well, it's, please. What's with my frames at the moment? They're struggling. Either way. Uh,. My armies are massing in Lori. As long as the, the Abbasids, the, not the Abbasids, the Shaban, are distracted, I should manage this. The touch wood. They're gaining lots of troops, though, which is scary. Um, they're losing against all of these things still. What have they gone for? They're, they're f Where is he now? Ferenz. Ferenz? County of Ferenz. Isn't that in Italy? It is. Why the hell are you in Italy? Sorry, I've got to, I've got to see this. Why is he leading troops in Italy? Why is an Emir leading his forces? I don't know. But what, whatever, things are happening. Not sure why. So I can't trust where the Emir, where the Emperor, the Caliph is for where his actual army is. Now I know this. So I'm taking attrition, which is not good. But once I'm all here, I'm going to split this and send one to Annie. So that hopefully it won't take too much in the way of attrition now and I can start uh, occupying somewhere else. And I've improved relations with the Duke of Ferenz, which I didn't actually want to do. But, you know, whatever. Um, not going to fire my kinsman woman just because I've wanted to move because there's no one I really want to want to improve relations with at the moment maybe the Byzantine Emperor but he's gonna do whatever he wants anyway so I would I, I finally could suggest he attacks the Abbasids so that would be useful um, I'm gonna improve relations with the Count I've had another son called Malchus and I can have one of my sons be educated so there we go I've had a lot of kids Good God. Lots of kids. So I may actually get some... Uh, I'll, no, I'll save my money for when I need them. 
I do not care. And I've gained stewardship. This is very good, because if I win this holy war, I might want to keep hold of some of this land. But possibly not. Alright, uh, I mentioned church career. Where is this army coming from? This guy is coming on next year, and he's currently in... All the way over there. Okay, and my bloody mouse is messed up again, so I'm just going to pause this to sort it out. And we're back. Um, I must have pressed this. There's, I've got a sort of fancy sort of gaming mouse thing for, covered in buttons and all sorts of stuff. Um, and there's one button that I think implements some sort of macro, which I'm sure is very useful. Except I don't know what it does. And I don't know why it's useful. So it, I'm sure it'd be great if I actually made use of it. But unfortunately, it just sort of slows my mouse down really slow. And I, I have to move my mouse across the entire desk. To get from one side of the screen to the other, which I suppose if you're doing if you're doing something really exact with the with the mouse, it's it's good. But when you're playing this, it's a bit annoying. So to do that, I had to alt tab out and and faff around with the profiles. There's two profiles I can have as well on this fancy mouse. But either way, I've got someone marrying off to the king of Finland of Lithuania, which is cool. Might end up with some sort of claim on that. 20% war score for this holy war so far because I've taken some of the land. Um, and I mean, at the moment, oh, can we catch this army? Because it is weak. No, I will not catch this army. I should be able to catch these. I don't want to, um, I should start reading the book. Uh, I will, I do not care. But I will improve counts, the counts opinion of me. I should catch these. This guy. Uh, I don't want to become depressed. That would not be. That would not be a good choice for me. Uh, when given the choice between being depressed and being get better at war, I'd probably go for war more than, you know, depression. And that. I don't know whether that follows through for real life, but we'll 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 have to find out. So there's a nice bit of war score for me because I took out that army. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean that the Shaban Caliph is actually paying attention to what I'm doing. He may have noticed. He might not have noticed before. Because of everything else going on. But, um... Yeah, he... Oh! The Shaman Decadence Revolt is winning that. He's still got 41,000 troops and I'm scared about where they actually could be. Um, where is his Marshal? Um... Marshal, the Shaman. He's... He's got him training troops in Damascus. So that's no use whatsoever. Uh... We've got someone in Rumma. Roma is there. Okay, that's a nice distance away. I'm happy with that. The other forces are, are doing stuff. Um, oh. My friend is not a very... Hmm. Okay, her, who's a friend? She wants me to put... Uh, who's currently my chancellor? Her, she's my chancellor. No, it's not not good enough chancellor. Sorry. Sorry, dearest. But this is matters of state. And it doesn't go down to favourites. That's when you get nepotism. And I can't stand nepotism. Not in this dynasty that I've given land out to. Anyway, what is this? You want to be my new marshal. You are slightly better than my old marshal, but my, he is at least a holy warrior and a cavalry leader. Whereas you are just some sort of guy. Um, I rule in the kingdom of Salia. Is he one of my one of my leaders? He's leading forces in Lori. Okay, so he is he is part of that army. That's good because he's got Holy Warrior, which is very it's going to be very good against um, you know all these uh, Caliphate forces. Cool. So Lori is fully occupied now. God, there wasn't much to that, was there? Um, we should catch. Yeah, caught them. Nice little tiny bit of war score there. Um, and if need be, I will combine forces to go crush this force if it's going to Vespirican. I call an ally in. The Prince of Serbia. Didn't realise there was a Kingdom of Serbia. Uh, but I'm going to call you and see if you'll join me. The Hungarians, considering they were so eager to get involved, 
are no longer involved, and I can't see any of them. They've got 5,000. They've got 500 guys. They had so many before, and they've lost them all. Hungary is a bit of a mess right now. It is the Poland of this game. And by Poland, I mean the, the place where lots of big empires attack and fight, and generally gets the wrong end of the stick. Uh, the shit end of the stick, sorry. Not the wrong end of the stick. Oh, my truce is ending with King of Bavaria. I didn't realise I had... Oh, wait. Yes, because I reclaimed... I took Hungary from him. That's right. Yeah, now he's going to get it back. Fair enough. And I'm going to have an adventure to deal with in a bit. So I'm interested to see what he's going to press his claim for. Conquest of Abkhazia. Is that for the whole kingdom of... The, the county of Abkhazia? It is. The the Duchy of Abkhazia, sorry. That's fine. Um, that's nice and nearby, so he's just going to have to march his way down there and, and come near my armies, which is fine. So I can continue this war, focusing on this war, and forget about him for now. Uh, oh, so he crushed the, the Hindu revolt. I'm sure he's not a heretic. Uh, he crushed, this, crushed the Hindu revolt. But still has all these other things to deal with. Um, the Decadence Revolt. Liberation of Nubia. The Shia Caliphate, which is apparently not doing anything. Uh, reject diplomatically. What do you want? You want the Duchy of Ag Agbania. No, fuck off. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Sorry. Um, yeah, so. What do I can't find? I'm no longer lustful. No. Oh. 62, he's a bit, a bit old for it now. This guy's been great. He's, a, he's had a really long life. Because he, this guy, he was his sibling died 71. Bloody hell, that's been a while, hasn't it? Allow the, allow the duel, why not? So, I'll take this. Oh my god, this, this Annie is a difficult one to take. It's got a lot of stuff going on there. Alright, um... Yeah, so, what's well, taking that as well, lovely. Um, I've had another son, because, you know, I don't have enough of them. I'm on 59% war score at the moment, which is very nice. Um, they're taking a city, so that'll go down quick. What's going on here? You want to marry... Oh, yes, Scotland. I remember that. My heir is now marrying the princess of Scotland, because that could lead to some fun stuff. Have I not said yes? There we go. Cool. Good. So, she doesn't like me. I'm going to send her a gift. And then go, I can't demand conversion because it's been at war apparently and that's a problem. Yeah, you can get married. I don't care. Um, I'm going to try and call in. I'll send them a gift. Call him in. Call to arms. And this guy as well. Send him a gift. Call to arms. And see what he does. He should should do. Yes, he will. Good stuff. Tanu. Come on, Tanu. Yes, he will. Fantastic. So, and I've died. So there we go. That's that's unfortunate timing, to be honest. Um, now, how many allies have I lost from that? Not many. Good. So. Um, I will nominate my heir. My heir is not going to be... Queen of Bulgaria, for one thing. She, uh, Maya will actually be... Um... I might have a warrior king. He's not particularly good at being a warrior, but still. Um, he has got unyielding, which is quite a nice trait. Um, who do I want? I'm going to go for someone with really good martial. This guy. He's 74. Uh, okay, he's not going to be my heir then. This guy then, Bogos, he is now my heir. Or do I want someone who could actually gonna? Great Moravia now controls all of all of Hungary. Okay, so shit's gone down over there. So now I need to choose a focus. My focus is gonna be war because of the fact I'm at war. I'm not gonna press any claims. You can be educated. You, I need an ambition. My ambition is to have a son. And I'm got an unmarried heir. Because he is unmarried, and I will marry you off to her, in the hope that she'll be able to convert, and I can make her a good commander. 
Cool. So, 59% war score. Oh, what's this? You want me to marry Kinsman to her. She's insane. Why is everyone insane in my family? Interesting. Um, that'd be cool if, if in, like, say there was a, uh, a family trait that you, you sort of gained at the beginning of the game and it passed down for all your family. So you have a tendency for triplets or twins um, or you have a tendency to be insane. You know, stuff, general stuff like that. Fun stuff like that. And I think I might actually touch wood. I'm, I'm getting close to winning this, I think. The Umayyads have got involved. But not the Persians. So not the people who could actually do something. No, no, no. The Umayyads, who have turned up with an army that can't even take a single place. Oh. Okay, so they've crushed the... Shit. They've crushed the... Uh, the Shia Caliphate, which is a shame. I was hoping that would succeed. Um, who is this? That's a mosque. That's a city. That's a castle, rather. Um... Okay, I am going to, just to make sure I win this, hire the Turkmen, send them down to Dwin, and get them to rush it down. Bulgaria's turned up as well. This is good. This is going well. This, I am scared though, and I am overrunning. I know that too, but I want to see if I can win this, win this war before the end of the episode, even though I will slightly overrun. So combine these guys and rush. 99%. Come on, let's go. Oh, Bulgaria might actually win this for me by taking out that army. Yep, 100% war score. There we go. Ending the war and ending the episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. I won a war against the Shaven. Fantastic. Fantastic.